This is a quick, quick video um, to do a demonstration on this launch software that I'm using at the moment. It's um, CRP919BT, uh, which is a follow up from the X431 series, which I was using before this. It's, it is a, is a professional tool, and I'm just going to go through some functions and see what kind of stuff you can do on this one and how easy it is to m manage and work with. As an auto electrician myself, um, I'm using this. It qu it's quite handy um, to store all your history as well. So if you want to go back to the cars that you've dealt with, you just go on diagnostic history, um, and then it, it shows all the cars that you've worked on in that month. So it tells you all these months, how many, Diagnostics have been done since I've had this, so I've only had it for a few months. So, the way it works is most of the cars now, um, the newer ones, all get um, start off with the intelligent diagnostic. Basically, what that does is you press that and then it connects to the car. It reads everything automatically. You don't have to select a vehicle or anything like that. This is not connected to a car, so it's not going to be um, doing that at this moment. Um, but this is what it would do. It would, it would read the VIN number itself. It would decode the VIN and then it will <coughs> connect to the vehicle. So we're not doing this um, at the moment because... Like I said, we're, we're not connected to a vehicle. I just need to get this um, to stop doing this, recognize that it's not connected to a car, and then it should uh, let me exit the screen. I'll just, um, right, okay. <clears throat> so, just an idea as to the service functions that are available on this model. It's got all this stuff. It's got ABS bleeding, front lighting, add blue set, crank possession reset. There's quite a lot of functions that you actually can do for these cars. Near enough everything you can um, you can do on this system. So if you want to just, uh, for example, you just want to um, match a battery with a car, you just go on the battery matching there, you press the button and then it'll automatically go, uh, ask you to select the vehicle and everything. But these functions also exist within uh, unique software. So for example, if you go on the, the local diagnosis, <clears throat> and you select a car from here say for example you select Audi and then in the functions within the Audi software uh, it will give you an option to do battery matching in any way so that that's just like a shortcut on the main screen so if you want to do it that way in purposes of this video I'm just going to go through a demo demo uh, because I'm not actually connected to a car just to give an idea of uh, how it all works and you know how to navigate around this system easily so go to demo and from here it's got some cars which is it's got demos for so we'll go for the ford and it's got a expedition or f350 let's go expedition and you can do health report which does a full scan of the car and brings up any codes uh, that you that the vehicle's currently got on any module. Uh, we're not going to go through that one because it's um, it's pretty generic, and every single software does the same thing on that one. So I don't think there's any benefit in doing that. So if we go to system selection, this tells you all the individual modules that this car has got, all the control modules, and what you can do. So it's got pretty much. 
a lot of modules there. Yeah. So in each module, it has functions. Uh, so for example, if you go to the engine control module, uh, you've got here, you can read fault codes. So if you read the fault code, it tells you the faults that are on this car. Uh, you can go back, you can clear the fault codes if you want. Um, and you can, you can also check the data stream. Say if you go on the data stream and you know that there's a fault relating to a particular component, then you can uh, find that component on here and then you can uh, say for example we just go on the ambient air temperature sensor and then it will bring up that stuff here you can also put it on a graph and then it will give you the the live data uh, so that you can check if everything is within the parameters of that car so that's the engine control module you also have an actuation test and you can act activate all these things uh, to see again if they, they are working properly the way they should be like the glow plug relay you've got here you can um, you can turn it on it's on you can turn it off uh, you can monitor it. Uh, there, there's various functions on there. The, the reason I like this uh, launch tool, um, rather than the top downs and your X tools and stuff like that, is this launch tool is a bi-directional tool. And they're not. The ones that are are very expensive and they are very expensive subscriptions. You have to have specific extra subscriptions you have to pay extra for to get the bi-directional of it so sometimes you look at these uh, scan tools they're quite cheap to buy like three three hundred pounds and then when you actually buy them they don't they don't have all the functions you have to pay extra for them with this one you get like two years free uh, subscription uh, for updates so with for two years it's constantly updating you've got all the uh, functions that you need for example for the engine control module on here uh, the special functions would be uh, the power balance injection uh, quantity adjustment parameter reset uh, dpf regeneration uh, relative compression these are just for this car it varies from model to model and make to make you can also program uh, the ecu with it from here as well and um, yeah that's the engine control module Say, for example, if we're going to the body control module and this one has options for the actuation where you can test certain things like the turn signals, the fog lamps and um, windows and stuff like that. I don't think this has got the windows one. No, it's got a park lamp, low beam, brake lamp and stuff like that. So rather than going out and pulling out bulbs and stuff, you can, you can check the circuit with these by doing an actuation test on them which is very handy when you're doing diagnostics. Uh, the special function on the body control module is a service reset on this one. So this is uh, just like an outline of the kind of things you can do on it, right? You've got separate modules for the door. Say, for example, the driver door module, you want possibly the windows will be on there. Um, the data stream and you can check the cords on here as well the seat module there, there's various modules on here which you can go into and then you, you you do the functions as and when what you need to test and the live data there's also a re immobilizer reset um so if you go into the immobilizer um the special function on here is you can program a key on here for this model some of them you can do immobilizer resets it actually will bring up the the security pin code yes, itself and uh, then you can reset the immobilizer and then program new keys on there so <clears throat> that's an extra thing you can do on here as well you can do like cruise control uh, calibration on here um basically it's, it's it's a really good tool and also sometimes you know when you're doing it 
a diagnostic with a car and s some modules don't communicate so when you do a system scan on here it tells you every single uh, module which is um, equipped on this car so for example if you're not getting um, you've got an ABS light on your car but the ABS is not communicating it will tell you here um, that that module is not equipped it'll say not equipped that means it's probably a fuse has gone or the module is faulty as well so it gives you an idea so you get an idea that the vehicle is not recognizing that it's got that module in the car so it'll say it's not equipped and it just makes life easier to single out which module the problem is in and then you can investigate further in that module itself so basically this is just a, like a let's see there 350 what kind of functions that has like the functions vary um from car to car so if we check the engine control module in this one uh what functions you can do here is again a similar kind of stuff so if we go to another vehicle on here um just to show you that different cars have different functions let's go to volkswagen uh this is Touareg let's go Touareg system selection right so if we go to the engine control module and right this has got different functions on it it's got adaptation so you can adapt things you can activate start stop it also has basic settings which the transmission neutral position sensor adaption it's got various adaptations you can do on here the clutch engagement point adaption testing the oxygen sensor you know various things like that and also in the actuation test you can activate injectors, intake camshaft adjustment back to rank one, intake manifold runner control. So it's just like a, it tells you that you got your data stream for your live data on all the sensors. And a shortcut would be, say, for example, if you want to do there's a search bar at the top here. And sometimes this list is endless. It's like 100 things on this list. So if you just tap on here, um, on the demo, I don't think it works, is it? Yeah. So you say map. Map on there. And it'll bring the sensor which is related to that on here. So it's like a shortcut. So that search bar is quite handy as well. And it the same things like clearing fault code, uh, access permission, that's for coding. So if you call, if you want to code, you just access permission and you have to put a code in there, which gives you the permission. But then that code is also given to you when you go online. Uh, on a proper vehicle, when you... Um, connect this up and you go onto it it'll have uh, where this blank is it'll say online coding so when you go when you click this online it logs you in and then it gives you the code for this access permission so then you can do your basic settings your adaptations and everything like that that's only with the vw's and audis uh with the other cars you don't need to do that but the function is in here so it doesn't there's no real um issue with it it doesn't lock you out of anything so these are the basic uh, functions of this. It's, it's, it covers a lot of stuff. Uh, I've done loads of stuff on this one, and as a professional, it's um, you know you, you can do you can do your job with it basically. And when you're wanting to do an update, there's a update button here. You click on that, and And then if there's any sort of updates available, it'll come up 
and then you can install the updates from that side. So basically that's uh, a brief um, walk around of uh, how to you know navigate through this system, how to use it uh, to its uh, potential and how it can make your job easy. And you know it's it's a it's a good tool. Um, it's it's a good tool. Okay, hope you like this video. Is there any uh, help for you? So thank you for watching.